Hello everyone and welcome to today's chapter. Today we will learn about data handling and the topics in this chapter are pictograph and bar graph. So let's get started. Pictograph. A pictograph or a picture graph uses symbols to represent information. Have a look at this table. This table gives us the information of the fruits in a basket and the number of fruits in a basket. So we have 5 apples, 4 bananas, 2 papayas, 1 watermelon and 3 mangoes. Now let's represent this same information in the form of a pictograph and answer the given questions. Here you can see the information represented in a pictograph. So how many fruits are there in the basket? We can see there are 15 fruits in the basket. How many mangoes are there? There are 3 mangoes. Which fruit is the least in number? The watermelon is the least in number. And which fruit is the maximum in number? Apples are maximum in number. Now I hope you understood how to make a pictograph. Let's test it with an exercise. Mr. and Mrs. Sharma are planning a party for the students. And the students are asked to vote for their favorite ice cream flavors. This is the information we have. 8 students voted for chocolate, 14 voted for chocolate chip, 8 voted for cookie dough, 6 voted for vanilla and 4 voted for strawberry. Now let's put this information in a pictograph. The key here is that one ice cream is equal to two votes. So in the first column, we put the flavors and the second column, the number of votes. Since chocolate has 8 votes, we will draw 4 ice cream cones. Since vanilla has 6 votes, we will draw 3 ice cream cones. Chocolate chips has 14 votes, so we will draw 7 ice cream cones. Cookie dough has 8 votes, which means 4 ice cream cones. And strawberry has 4 votes, so 2 ice cream cones. So let's answer some questions. What two flavors did the students like the least? The answer is strawberry and vanilla. How many students voted for either cookie dough or strawberry? 12 students voted for cookie dough or strawberry. How many more students voted for choco chips than vanilla? Now, 14 students voted for choco chip and 6 voted for vanilla. So 14 minus 6 is 8. So 8 more students voted for chocolate chips than vanilla. How many votes were there in all? The total amount of votes are 40 votes. Bar graph. A bar graph represents information using bars that are standing on the same base. Have a look at this table. So here is a table telling about the fruits in a basket and the number of fruits. Let's put this information in the form of a bar graph. The left side of the bar graph shows the numbers and the base shows the names of the fruits. So we have 5 apples, 4 bananas, 2 papayas, 1 watermelon and 3 mangoes. Now I hope you understood bar graphs. Let's test it with an exercise. Have a look at this example. At the zoo, James saw these animals. Here is the bar graph of what he saw. So how many elephants did James see? He saw 2 elephants. How many snakes did James see? He saw 9 snakes. Which animal was 5 in number? The lions were 5 in number. James saw 10 giraffes. How many animals did James see in all? The total number of animals is 2 plus 5 plus 10 plus 9 which is 26 animals. So let's go through the summary of today's lesson. 
Today, the topics that we learned were pictograph and bar graph.